with really big cranes on a daily basis. So my passion for cranes, work and Lego came together in my Lego crane model. So this is the crane, all spread out and ready to get assembled. Of course, when building from Lego, you have the Lego trilemma. You have strength, functionality and realism. So you cannot always get all of them right. I went more on strength and functionality, so that the crane gets assembled and built, and all the components are more or less like on a real crane. That's why the crane is not a real precise model of a certain crane but is inspired from the 600 750 ton class it has some influences of leaper of terex i try to take from both whatever fits best in building with lego the boom is up but as I said before it's kind of windy today so everything is shaking a little let's hope everything goes okay we we'll wait for Alfredo our crane operator to tell us if we can work or if it's too windy So guys, this was it. This is the crane. I hope you enjoy the video of the build. It's getting late, it's still a bit windy, so we need to start disassembling the crane. The saloon is powered by four XL motors and each of the winches has one L motor. I tried using two L motors in the beginning, but I had some issues because they are worm gear driven and you have some rotational differences between different motors. So because they were turning at different speeds, it was torsioning the winch and ended up blocking some time. I opted to split the slewing on two channels because I had some concerns about the weight. I was afraid that if I put all four motors on one channel, this would reach the current limit and limit the slewing. This is not the case, mainly because of a thick and stable bearing. The crane turns really really smooth and fast so it would have worked just as well on just one channel. Let me show you how the thing is set up here. This is the counterweight. Here's the space where the boobies goes in. It's back there. I'll show it in a minute. Here I have a power bank so that I can power the boobies and inside here we have two cables. This one is used to charge the power bank and the other one a nice flat USB cable to charge the boobies from the power bank. Let me just take this out. And disconnect the motors. So this is the 
counterweight tray, it holds one boobies. I opted not to include the boobies in the counterweight because like this I can run and slew the crane just with this. This small lever is used to turn on the power bank and yeah, that's it. Everything is labeled with the name of the boobies and the side that the boobies gets installed. Here you can also see the connection diagram so that it's easier to connect also on the bottom part so that it's easier, so that it's easier to connect the cables in the right position. Okay, let me just disconnect the crawler and then I'll show you how this is set up. Before that, here I have another boobies and two small counter blocks. And of course a power bank so that I can charge the boobies and play for hours. Each crawler has four XL motors which go to each of the channels. Again, I had my concerns about the weight of the crane. I tested the crane with up to 90 kilos. This is more or less the weight that I estimate I will reach at the end. This is including the crane, all the counterweights, including the superlift counterweight, which is not done yet, and also some load in the hook. Let me just disconnect and take off the other counterweight so that it's easier than to take off the crawler. Here again, the same movies, lever to turn the power bank on, and that's all. One more thing, let me show you the other counterweight. This is what goes on top of what you saw. This is just a box that holds the lead sheets. Here, these were coupled together. Let me see if I can take one out. This is about two and a half kilos. So each top ones have each around five kilos. I have two of these inside. I have space for, for one more. So I can go seven and a half plus seven and a half, which is 15 kilos. And a part of that, the lower part, the ones that were on the crane is around two and a half each. So first of all, we need to disconnect the lower counterweight. It's just these pins. And then the cable connection from the crawler to the boobies. Here I have another set of cables that go inside. It's not because of the length, just for the ease of connecting and disconnecting. This is a bit tricky. Of course, when you want to show something goes wrong, it's Murphy's law. But this is how they are usually. Everything labeled nicely so that I know which cable comes from which engine. Let me first take this off before we lift. And let me show a better view of what's inside. Again, the movie's name for ease of connection. This is Crawler B. Here we have the movies, the two counterweights, what I could fit inside here and the power bank. Again, the cable, USB cable and charging cable of the power bank. This goes down here. So I can, uh, uh, it's in reverse. So I can take it off and connect it easily while it's on the crane. Let me just slide this small frame inside. There will be some outriggers that will come here for the assembly, but I didn't have time to do that. This is kind of heavy, so... Okay. The crawler is fixed to the crane just by these side pins. I'll show it right away. And then the cr crawler comes off. Here is a better view of the crawler. Here you can see two of the motors, the other ones are here and here. I'm sorry, but this is in reverse, so it's kind of difficult. The yellow ones here and on the other side are two other pins that I planned in for connecting to the, to the superstructure or to the undercarriage, but honestly, it's not necessary to use them. So after the crawler gets slid 
on these two supports, then it's just this connection that locks it in. It has, I don't know if you can see it. It has two pins inside that come like this and like this to secure the crane to the undercarriage. Let me just disconnect this so we can see a better view of the drive. Obviously because of the weight of the crane, I couldn't have the drive here and here like on the real crane. So I opted to have it on the inner wheels. Each motor is geared down 240 to 1 and drives two set of wheels. So this is one motor, another one, another one and another one. Here you can see the gears, these are worm driven and I had to use metal axles again because of the weight of the crane. On the top part I have two small tensioners so I can adjust the tension on the tracks and this is just a guide so that the crawler slide easy. That's about all. I think that's all for today. I might make a more detailed video sometime in the future. So as always, see you in the next one.